This lesson is on installing the Classroom Performance System software. In our last lesson, we downloaded the software into a folder on our desktop entitled CPS Software. Double-click on this folder, and within that folder there is a file named CPS Web with the version number. Double-click on this file, and that will bring up this security warning dialog box, which asks if we want to run or cancel the installation. Click on Run and that will start the install shield wizard. The install wizard will start extracting some files and this will take a few minutes. After the extraction is complete you will see this dialog box which will be followed by another dialog box. This welcomes you to the install shield wizard for classroom performance system click the next button. This brings up the license agreement. You can scroll down through the license agreement and read the license agreement. When you've read it, you can then click on the I accept the terms in the license agreement radio button and then click next to continue. At this point you're given the opportunity to type in a username and an organization name if you want to. Also, you're given the opportunity to install this application for anyone who uses this computer or only for me. If you use this application on a computer that has multiple logins and you want to restrict its use to you only, select the Only For Me radio button. For most people, the default Anyone Who Uses This Computer will be fine. Make your selection and click Next. You then are given the opportunity to select Complete or Custom Installation. Well, there really is no custom installation, so just accept the default Complete and click Next. You are now ready to install the program. Click the Install button. The Install Shield wizard will start doing the install, and you will see the status bar um, progress across the screen several times. This will take several minutes. After a few minutes of installing, this screen will pop up saying the Install Shield Wizard is completed and you will notice that there is a CPS icon on your desktop. At this point, click the Finish button. You can close the folder and the installation of the CPS software is complete. In our next lesson, we will configure the CPS software. The lesson on the installation of the CPS software is now complete.